What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I figured, you know, I've seen some ridiculous videos where people are claiming to find gold that is clearly fake. So I figured, hey, why not have a video where we have a real life prospector watch these completely outrageous gold finding videos and I share my opinion on these. We're gonna see what we can find on the internet and I'm gonna give you my two cents. So let's go ahead and get right into it and we'll type in finding gold nuggets and let's see what comes up first. All right, so this first video that comes up, this is a pretty clickbaity title. I mean, look at this, or picture. Look at this, it's this person pulling out this boulder, this gold boulder. Uh, yeah, no. Let's click on it, let's see what's going on here. Do you wanna be famous? How about unbelievably rich? Sure. What if I told you that such fortune is just waiting to be found beneath your feet? For thousands of years... Okay, these are real pictures of gold right here. Notice the texture and how it's not really smooth because the way that gold naturally forms is in veins with other minerals and so it's all mixed up like this. It's not going to be just a boulder, smooth boulder like we saw in the thumbnail. Biggest gold nuggets ever discovered. Let's go. The owner was so blown away by the... Okay, this is a real nugget right here. You can actually see the quartz inclusions in there in those little pockets. That's what gives gold its texture. So this video seems to be like it's legit. The thumbnail was totally clickbait, but let's see if we can find some other videos that are clearly obviously fake. All right, second video down. Biggest single gold nugget ever unearthed on the island. Record breaking. All right, let's see what's going on with this one. I've obviously watched this. It was a long time ago, but let's get biggest. back here. This may be the single biggest nugget. All right. Right away, I can tell you, this is fake. Thea wasted no time and has found this interestingly strong signal right here. Okay, so, you know, so far it looks like it's legit. They're out on the river. They got their metal detector out. The biggest red flag to me right here is that it's all just sand. There's not the things that you normally find with gold, like pack rock, larger river rock, especially with the nuggets that they've already shown in this video. There's going to be huge boulders around gold like that, not sand like this. Very unusual that they're digging in material that's really sharp and jagged because gold typically has traveled down the river with the water with the other river rocks, which are also all going to be river worn and smooth. So it's, it's pretty uncommon to see gold in super jagged rock like this. It looks like they're kind of breaking the bedrock. It's like maybe like decomposed kind of bedrock that they're breaking into here. I'm a little suspicious. Oh, look at that. There's another piece of gold right there. Do you see it on the right side of the screen? Wow. Okay. Notice how there are no other smooth rocks in this hole that they just dug up but somehow this gold is smooth and river worn like it's gone down the river. So explain to me how that could possibly be the case when they literally just broke up all this hard rock and there's no signs of any other river worn rock next to these smooth round pieces of gold. Oh, and this is supposed to be another one. Okay, yeah, let's see him wash this off. Let's, let's see how this goes. Thank you. 
the color is pretty good as far as what gold actually looks like. You know, after you have enough experience, you can kind of tell what shade of gold is real gold. And they've got that pretty close. Uh, the way they're handling it, where they're just setting it down in the river like that, I mean, nobody would do that unless they're getting gold like this all the time, and I highly doubt it. This one right here is probably the strongest signal of the day. Okay, listen to the sound of this metal detector. The sound of the metal detector as it's getting deeper in the hole, if you listen to it, it's slowly increasing steadily in volume, but she's not slowly steadily bringing the metal detector to the target. That doesn't sound right. That is not what that would sound like as she's putting that metal detector down there. It would be fluctuating and have much more variation in the tone as she was putting it down in the hole like that. Okay, right there. She yanked it out of the hole, but the sound was a slow, steady decrease in volume. And it's still making a tone as she's jerking it around and setting it down. This is bogus. This is not real. At least the sound of them putting the detector down in the hole and pulling it out not real. Not to mention they're digging in sand and gold does not sit in sand. Another thing is when you're digging for a target like this and you're hoping that it's gold, you don't want to be whacking the ground like that because you might accidentally smack the gold nugget and just completely ruin it by putting a massive dent in there. Anybody who's looking for gold is going to be delicate. They're going to, yeah, have to break the ground and hit the ground, but they're not going to be going full Rambo on it like this because you could potentially damage the nugget, which reduces the value significantly. Oh, this might be the moment of truth. Slowing down. Taking the gloves off. All right, so in this shot, it could be the color correction that they did on the video, but that gold looks way too yellow to be real gold to me, to my train prospector eye. Wedging a metal tool that's way harder than gold up against the gold would absolutely scratch the heck out of that. There's no way anybody would do that with a nugget of this size. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars worth of gold right here, and you would be treating this thing as if it was a chicken egg. You would be so delicate with this, you would not want to risk scratching this in any way. And they're just going right in there with this tool, getting ready to just leverage it out of there. This may be the single biggest nugget we've ever found on this island. If you look at this supposed nugget that she just pulled out of the ground, this is way too smooth. There's no folds, there's no dents, there's no pockets where quartz or other inclusions would be in the gold. Any gold this size is not going to be this just giant solid chunk of gold without any type of texture or divots or anything in it like that. And gold just doesn't look like this. Oh, we got another piece. If I was finding gold like this, I would be jumping up and down and dancing and hooting and hollering. And uh, they seem pretty calm for the kind of gold they're finding. So either these people are just, you know, really chill and they're finding gold like this all the time, or it's fake. Again, it could be the coloration of the video, but that gold is way way too yellow. It's just too, it's too gold. There is an amount of gold that is just too gold, and this is too gold to be real gold. Gold has to be polished and cleaned up really, really well to be that bright and that yellow 
and simply pulling it out of the ground and rinsing it off in the river is not going to make it that clean. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now they're going to take it to the river and paint it out. They're literally panning sand. If you know just even a little bit about gold panning and prospecting and the material that you're looking for when you're going out and you're gold panning, the last thing that you put in your pan is sand because gold is really heavy and gold will fall out where other heavy things are falling out like larger river rock and larger boulders. At least the kind of gold they're showing in this video, you will never find that kind of gold just sitting in the sand. But let's see what they find. This person has no idea what they're doing with this gold pan. They're not even shaking up the gold pan. They're not stratifying the material at all. She's just like picking it up and dumping it out. This person has no idea what they're doing with this gold pan. When you have been gold panning, even if you've gone five times, less than five times, you can watch this and tell that this person has no idea what they're doing. The way that you're supposed to use a gold pan is you, you fill the pan with the material like she has there, you fill it with water, and then you shake up, shake it up with the water in it. And what that does is that brings all the heavy material down to the bottom and brings all the light material to the top. It stratifies the material so that the heavy stuff can sink to the bottom. And this person isn't doing that at all. That technique though. This technique is so bad, it's almost difficult to watch. Hey, they're filling up their hole. That's good. You always fill up your holes. When you're done detecting, leave no trace, okay? So if there's one good thing about this video that you should take away from this video, fill your holes back up. Everything else about this video is totally BS. Fake. After a full day's work. Wow, look at all that gold. A full day's worth of gold. Okay, if I'm just guessing, if we were gonna say that this was real gold that they had here, we're talking 40, 50, 60 ounces. I mean, we're talking over $100,000 of gold that they have here. Not necessarily by the weight, but by the value of finding a piece of gold that size or any of the pieces of gold this size. When you find a large nugget like this, the way that it's valued is based off of what gold costs at the time. Plus, there's a premium for the rarity of the size of gold that they find here. So a piece of gold like that big one there that's sitting in the water would be worth easily over $100,000. That's not, this isn't real gold. I mean, you can just look at it. I can tell that it's not real. It's the wrong color. It's the wrong texture. It's just, it's all wrong. But they filled their hole and that I respect. But this is her total haul. Total haul, more like total bullshit. So what do you think? Do you agree with me that the gold in these videos was fake or is it real? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.